What's more likely? Never say never, but never. Okay, very good. I like the drop. Very good. And uh, that's production value, everybody. <laughs> And for the radio audience, it was very nice visual that we had right there. Visual, yeah, yeah. You know, because and it's funny the visual was of all these mathematic equations uh, on a blackboard, uh, sort of beautiful mind type movement. Yeah, good good Um, and 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 me deciding what's more likely. There's nothing mathematic or scientific about it. It's gut. (laughs) Doesn't really. It's gut and feel. That's why I go about it. Okay, so. uh, uh, are these all football related? All or? football, all, right, so all me, NFL. Go for it. So give us some NFL films. Not some music, great NBA. Jay Here we go. All NFL. Thursday night football tonight, guys. Kirk Cousins has just five turnovers on the year. That's it. Three interceptions, two lost fumbles. Ben Roethlisberger has thrown multiple TDs in three of his last four games. Okay. Pittsburgh is two and two in those games. Okay. So what's more likely, the Steelers turnover Cousins tonight? Or Big Ben throws for two or more touchdowns. I'll say it's the Steelers turnover Cousins tonight. That's what I'll say. I'll go with that. I'll go with the fact that uh, T.J. Watt's going to put the pressure on and Minka Fitzpatrick will get him. How about that? I'll even I'll even tell you who's going to get him. T.J. Watt going to get him. No, Minka Fitzpatrick's oh, going to be the one who's oh, going to get him. Oh, I think him. Watt will get uh, Cousins tonight. He's been on a roll. He's been like butter. I didn't know. Really strip sack, fumbles. No, I, don't, I just, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if Ben's going to throw for multiple touchdowns tonight. That one, I don't know. What's more likely is Cousins gets turned over. All right, there you go. All right, I like that right, one. Right, right. Is that is that is that one of those sneaky, we're covering our tracks, not really talking about gambling type gambling? Is that are those, are those, did you just throw like two prop bets at me right there? Are you um, trying to figure out your prop bets right now for not, tonight? Not really. Okay. Not really. Like I said, I have Claypool and Fantasy, so I may lay him to score anyway, just so I, you know, kind of juice oh, that Fantasy's a bit. not enough for you? Yeah, no. You got <laughs> No. Oh, my God. No, fantasy's not enough. Okay, me. very good. Okay, all right, next up. We have a couple of 6-6 six and six home teams yes. hosting 8-4 and four teams within their division this yes. week. Browns and the, uh, the Browns and the Washington football team. Right, so what's more likely, a Browns upset of Baltimore or a football team upset of Dallas? Well, the Dallas Cowboys coaches guaranteed victory. Um, words I never thought I would say into a microphone about the incredibly normally cautious and careful with his words, Mike McCarthy. But Mike is uh, raging with antibodies right now. And <laughs> um, and he provided week 14 with the booster shot. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with the Browns. That's more likely. I think the Browns, it, it's more likely that the Browns beat the Ravens. Mm. As you know, I've been caping. Caping. From this spot. No oh, big time. And I'm going to go Browns victory over the Ravens. More likely. Okay. Roll Chubb and Hunt downhill and somebody go find that weak spot of the defense on a play action. Ooh. Come on now. That's what you're built to do. It's what Baker's coming back. They're healthier than the Ravens. Let's go. LFG. LFG. It's time. Okay. So there you go. All right. You like Browns. Well, has... Uh, I don't know yet. Has Kevin Stefanski guaranteed a win yet? I haven't seen that. No. I okay. So then I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with the team that hasn't had somebody guarantee a win against him. So, or guarantee a win. In it. There you have it. All right. Next up. Yeah. We got two more. Next up. Couple of teams on the road this week, coming off of losses. These teams we think are playoff teams. We think they can go deep. Mm-hmm. Which road team more likely to get back on track? With a big road win. The Buffalo Bills in Tampa. The San Francisco 49ers in Cincinnati. I think that you gave me a gimme here. You gave me a layup here. This is a layup. Really? A layup? About what's more likely? It's a layup. It's a layup, the 49ers in Cincinnati. A layup. Whoa, no respect for the jungle. No, uh, you're saying what's more likely. I'm not saying it is definitely. It's not... This, the name of this thing isn't called What's Definitely Happening, right? No, it's not. It's, <laughs> not, it's not. I thought I heard the drop. It's, it's what's, more likely, what's more likely. Right? What's more likely. What's more likely that the Buffalo Bills go into Tampa with the Bucks playing the way that they're playing and the Bills coming off of a short week loss at home where they had it run down their throat 222 times by a team that showed no inclination of throwing ever, right? Mm-hmm. And now Tom Brady, who's got – I won't count them all off, but the word is – Remarkable, and the number is 32. A remarkable 32 wins against this franchise. Ooh, that's a lot. 
you're going to go into their house and be, come up with that dub. I think the Niners bounce back and they play a better game. It looks like it's possible Debo can return for this one. I will take the Niners going east more likely than the Bills going south. Literally. Because figuratively, that's where they'll be headed to if they're 7-6. and six. What else? All right. Last one. Last one, guys. We yeah. have a couple of MVP quarterbacks at home against their heated rival. Okay. Aaron Rodgers has won his last five straight games against the Bears. I've heard that. He has 12 touchdowns, 13 overall. His numbers support his statement that he owns them. Correct. Yes. Patrick Mahomes is 6-1 and one in his career against the Raiders. He's thrown for 20 touchdowns in those games, two, two rushing. What's more likely? Who is more likely to have a big day against the rivals? Three-plus touchdowns total. Aaron Rodgers against the Bears. Patrick Mahomes against the Raiders. I'll take Rodgers against the, the Bears. Then Mahomes against the Raiders. I don't know, man. I, I I just think the Raiders are just total Jekyll and Hyde when it comes to being at home. And then at, at on the road, they've been a much stouter team, it seems to me, even though they lost the Giants in New Jersey. I I I I'll take I'll take Rodgers. I'll just take Aaron Rodgers. He's just consistently been so terrific, and so is this offense all year long. Even in the loss to to. Uh, even, even in the loss to the Vikings, he was playing out of his head. And he's coming off of the bye, too. I'll, I'll take Rodgers more more likely to have a three-touchdown game this week than than, uh, than Patrick Mahomes. All right. I All like right. it. So you're you put, you're put, uh, this is what I like about it. You're putting me in a box here in a <laughs> week 14 box. Week 14 box. You did. So, like, Make Monday, decisions. Mo- like, tomorrow we can return to the subject matter of yeah. – of, whether Ben threw t- two times and two teddies, right? Cousins got turned over. Now, at some point when we've advanced this, because you know the segments evolve, mm-hmm. you should give me a choice of both or neither. Both or neither. Yeah. No, that's why. Why give you four options? Yeah, that's too many, right? That's too many. All right, so it's just what's more likely. What's there you more go. Likely? I say uh, it's more likely that Cousins gets uh, turned over tonight by Ooh. the Steelers than Ben throws for two touchdowns. Who wins tonight? Oh well, let's save that for later on. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.